So now in this video, we're gonna look at a circuit where we have a passive buzzer here. It is off unless we press the switch there. So what is setting the tone when we press the switch is the 555 timer wired in a stable mode. So it would go slower, it'd be clicks if we slowed things down, or it would be faster, a buzz of some kind, if we sped things up. Basic a stable 555 timer stuff. But this isn't quite an a stable 555. A stable means the output just constantly goes high and low as you apply power. That's only true while you are holding the button there. We uh, use the reset pin here to override the output to hold the output low until we press the button. So zooming in so you can see it a little bit better here. Normally when 555 is in A-style mode, pin four is directly to the positive supply. That tells it don't do anything. It lets everything else do what it wants. Um, but uh, whatever it's wired up to do. But when you have pin four getting a, a low voltage, I think it's somewhere below half of the supply voltage, but close to the negative uh, rail, in any case. Then it holds the output low doesn't matter what else anything else wants to do. The reset pin is the most uh, powerful pin. As long as it is low, the output's always low. Now if we close the switch, then we have a direct connection to the five volt power supply. I put parallel to the switch a, a 0.47 microfarad capacitor. It doesn't really matter its value, but in any case, when I close the switch, then the capacitor will discharge. It gets uh, five volts there. Um, this switch bounces a lot. I lose contact a bit and uh, that helps hold the voltage while I remake uh, contact. So hopefully it never uh, loses the signal completely. But in case, closing the switch, then you get five volts at uh, pin four and uh, it lets everything do what it wants to since it's wired in A-stable mode, the buzzer buzzes. So in any case, everything else you see on the uh, diagram here, I covered in earlier videos about the 555 timer in a stable mode. Um, so I'm not gonna go over that again right now. This is a short video series. I'm gonna keep this short, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot.